Hey guys, Amanda here. Uh, today I have a total core workout for you. I love working the abs. Abs are some muscle group that you can work every single day. So if you could follow along with this video every day if you wanted to, to get you to that flat abs towards that six pack that you are looking for. The turn up that waist, this is perfect for that. Uh, let's get right to it. So to get us started, um, we're gonna lay down on the floor. On our backs on the floor. Your heels are gonna be right below your bum. So you're gonna lay back here, lift up the shoulder blades, and you're gonna reach and touch the sides of your foot. This one is just gonna start engaging our core to get us warmed up a little bit more. Keeping that tight core, belly button sucked in. You should start feeling that tummy getting warmed up, getting us ready for our total ab and core burn. Let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Okay, we're going to go right into a toe reach. So you're going to put your legs straight up. And what you're going to do, you're just going to reach right up for your toes. Keeping that belly button always sucked in on these floor exercises. Might not get up all the way to your toes. I'm not. You're just reaching. This is going to engage the top part of our core. Let's do 10 more. 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, last one. Okay, you're gonna keep it here, but instead we're gonna reach to the outside, alternating. Just gonna work our abs a little bit different, starting to engage more of the side ab muscles. When we're doing any exercise, Always remember to breathe. Do not hold your breath. 10, let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good. Give me these. Okay, we're going to engage the lower abs now, which is one a lot of people ask about how we can get those lower abs, how you can get rid of that pooch. Um, and mama pooch after you have a baby. That can be a tough one. So we're gonna, these next few exercises are gonna be to attack that area, the lower ab, that pooch area. So we're gonna start off with a starfish crunch. So you're gonna start here, lay in a star. You're gonna take your opposite arm, the opposite foot, and lift, flat, back down to that star. And then switch, switch. This one, is also engaging those upper abs, but we're starting to work into those lower abs as well. Here we go. Keep that belly button tight to the floor. Let's do five more each side. So 10 singles, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Here we go. Whew. Your abs starting to feel it now? I hope so. Okay, we're going to start this next one. And this is the leg drop. So just kind of like our toe reach, we're going to have our legs straight up here. You can have your arms out here on the side or you can kind of tuck them underneath your bum, right here, to give you some more support. And I have my hands open. This one, you're gonna have your leg straight up, and you're gonna drop one leg, drop one leg. We're starting to engage that lower ab a little bit more. So stick with me, don't quit on me. We got this all the way through. We're gonna get this total ab burnout, going for those flat abs, for that six pack that you're going for. So don't quit. It's 
It's gonna get tough and don't hold that breath. I want you to breathe every single time. No holding your breath. I don't need anyone passing out on me. Just alternating those legs. You should be feeling it in here. If you're not, you must have some tough abs because I'm feeling it. It's starting to burn. Here we go. Let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good. Okay, don't drop it. We're gonna keep it up. You're gonna lower it right here. This one's a little tough. And lay here, and it's the alternating leg lift. These ones, you're gonna start to feel it. They work you so good. That's what we want. I don't want you stopping. Push through it. Push through that burn. We got this. We're in this together. We can do it. Come on. Here we go. Let's do 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Come on. Five, I know it's hard. Four, come on. Three, two, last one. Woo. Oh, good job. That one starts getting you, doesn't it? Whew. Nice work. Okay. We hanging in there? We're doing good? Okay, we're going to slowly work those lower abs. So we're going to start off with some flutter kicks. So start your legs up, bring them down just a little bit, and they're just little kicks. Okay? We're just going to start right here. Not too far from that 90 degree angle. Okay? Let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You're gonna lower it just a little bit more. This is where you put those hands under your bum for some extra support. Or hands out to the side if you like that better. Lower it just a little bit more. Belly button to the floor. Keep that sucked in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What's next? We're gonna lower it some more. Here we go. Lower it. We got 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoo, one more lower. We got this, we got this. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower it back up, one more. We got 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoo, burn it. Pick it up a little bit more. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One more, this is our first position that we had. Here we go, 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoo, ouch. Whoo, good job. Our next one is our scissors. So we're gonna do kind of the same thing we did with our flutters. So we're gonna start off here, 90 degrees. Lower it a little bit. Scissors, we're just crisscrossing right here. Let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, lower it here, right here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it again. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more time, lowering. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoo, back up. Up a little bit more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pick it up a little bit more. We're almost there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pick it up a little bit more. 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Nice work. Okay, next we have our windmills. So this one, I like my arms to be out. Your legs, hopefully they're tired too. You're gonna start here. I have a slight bend in my legs, okay? You're gonna come to the side and pick them up, okay? Side, pick it up. We're going for the obliques now, okay? That muffin top area that a lot of people talk about. We're strengthening those sides. So down, pick up. Down, pick up, down, pick up, 
Yeah. There we go. Good. Keeping that tight core. Remember to breathe. I don't want you holding your breath. Good. Okay, stick with me. We're getting there. We're almost done. Let's do 10 more. Starting out, there's 10, there's nine, there's eight, good, seven, six, five, four, three, come on, two, you got this, last one, whew, nice. Okay, now we're gonna roll onto our tummies. We're gonna get our lower back here. So laying on our tummies, we are going to do a superman or superwoman, whatever you wanna call it. So my body is straight out here, lay flat on the ground here, and we are going to pick everything up. And you're gonna hold it, five, four, three, two, one, drop. Pick it up again, everything, one, two, three, four, five, drop. Whew, good job. This is three. Pick it up. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Again. One, two, three, four, five. Release. This is five. Pick it up. One, two, three, four, five. Good. We're going to ten. Halfway. Pick up. One, two, three, four, Five, release. Here we go. This is six. One, two, three, four, five. This is seven. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Eight. Pick up. One, two, three, four, five. Two more. Come on. Pick up. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. Here we go. Pick up. Two, three, four, five. Whew, good job. Okay, we're going to go after our lower back some more as well as our full core. And one of the best exercises to do that with is the plank. Um, so we're gonna start off with a plank. I just on our elbows right here. And it's key to always keep this really tight core. I don't want to see a saggy back and hurt your lower back. And I don't want to see any bums sticking out. We call those open targets. So keep a tight core right here, right here. Let's hold it. Nice tight core. Your elbow should be right below your shoulders. If this is a little much, just drop to your knees and hold it right here. But still no saggy bumps or poking out bumps, open targets, and no arching your backs down, okay? Keep a nice tight core if you choose to go on your knees. If you need to go on your toes, if you want more, keep it right here. Let's hold it for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep it here. And you're gonna pick up the leg. Pick up. You got eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're gonna go on to a side plank. So you're gonna stack your feet. You can have an arm in front, your elbows just below your shoulder. You can have this hand right here for extra support. If you don't want it, don't need it, keep it on your hip. We're gonna be right here, and you're just gonna pick up your hip. These are the side plank pulses. You can pick up. You have that hand in front if you need that extra support. If you need a little bit more support, you can bend this lower leg back right here to help little bit more to modify that just a little bit more for your level and then when you're ready to maybe try a couple with all straight legs and then modify it when you need to to keep working on building the strength of your side let's do 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 come on 2 1 good let's switch sides Attack the other side. You guys are doing awesome today. That core should be starting to feel pretty fatigued. So stack it here. 
Remember the different levels. Have the hand in front if you need it to push up. Have it on your hip if you'd rather. And bend that bottom leg back when you need it. Here we go, let's push them up. Good, good. Tight core. Focusing on this side right here. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Come on, three, two, last one. Good, nice work. So when I'm done with my abs, I like to end with a good stretch or a cobra is another yoga pose that you can do if you're familiar with that. So you can either hold it here or go up on your hands and kind of sit into it here. This one just stretches it a little bit more depending on the flexibility of your back. Um, I just like to hold it here for a little bit. Let's take a deep breath in. Whew. Those abs should be feeling pretty good and toasty right now. Um, if you need a little bit more, I want you to repeat this video and go through it two times. Um, if not, just stick through it once. Try doing this video three times a week. Um, let's take it back to a child's pose. You just sit and chew it. This one's just a good pose I like to do um, at the end of any exercise. Just kind of releases the muscles, releases your back. It feels really good. And hold it right here. Let's hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Thanks guys for joining me today on this total, the killer total ab burnout. You guys did awesome. You made it all the way through it. Some of those were pretty tough, weren't they? Um, so props to you. Good job. Um, remember to subscribe and like. Please like. Uh, and we also have the blog, BeAFitMommy.com. Um, if you head over there, there's lots of different healthy recipes. Um, there's a chicken mural one in the crock pot. That's amazing. Definitely check it out. Super easy to throw, get, throw together. And it's one of our family favorites. Um, okay, guys, we'll see you next time.